is 99 degrees. When is the temperature gonna go down? It's so hot all the time. Miserable. It's about lunchtime and I've been go, go, go since I woke up this morning. I'm gonna have a quick lunch and then I gotta get back to it. There's so much to do today, mostly like errands and um, stuff like that. So I went to Del Taco, which I haven't been here in a very, very long time. When I was a teenager in high school, I used to always go to Del Taco. Here's my deluxe chili cheese fries. Also got two tacos. I came across these two college students were, who were asking for like jobs, night shift jobs at the Del Taco. And that kind of reminded me of like what it was like to be a college student and not have much money. Cause after they asked about the job, they ended up ordering their meals and um, they were using like a coupon and then for whatever reason the coupon wouldn't scan and it turns out like you have to order a certain quantity to get the amount off. Just seeing them being very careful with their money. Being in college and not having a lot of money it just brought back a lot of memories. So I think a lot of people can resonate with that having like to really ration your funds because of course going to college is very very expensive. Okay, I'm gonna eat this because then I gotta do more things. Ugh. Hello, so it's late in the evening and I didn't get very much footage of anything today because I've just been so busy running around all day. And then when I finally got home, I kind of crashed and fell asleep for a little bit. So I was, I was so tired just from like the day's activity. But I thought I would share something a little bit random of some things I found in the trash. So I think one of my upcoming pre-recorded videos is gonna be kind of like a finance video. How I make money as a single person, like all the extra little things that I do to bring in additional income. It's always nice to have like a handful of income streams to kind of pad your bank account, you know? And my videos are probably seem random because like one day I'm like, let's go shopping at Costco. And then the next day it's like, let's talk about finances. Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason over here. As far as today's share, I'm going to show you some stuff that I found in the trash because one of my side hustles, as you know, is flipping things off Poshmark and eBay. And that is one of my most lucrative side hustles. I do not dumpster dive because I don't know. I think that's dangerous because like what's in the dumpster? You might accidentally encounter some toxic something or you might accidentally get poked by something. I just don't think it's safe to dumpster dive. But you know how I live in an apartment complex. People are always moving in and out of here and they just like leave things in the trash room for people to take. Um, sometimes people will leave like boxes in front of their door saying free because they're getting ready to move and just want to get rid of things. Even though I say I got this from the trash, technically it's from like the trash room or found near the trash when somebody's giving it away. But let me go ahead and share with you what I found this time around. So in this box, we have this sign here that says good vibes. Um, someone's just throwing away a like meat thermometer and it's still in the package. Like it's definitely something that can be reused. I thought this was an Ipsy bag at first. This is a Smashbox bag. Oh, I've actually seen this on Amazon. These are like, not twinkle lights, but like you hang them up and then those little clips there, you clip up pictures. I may keep this. And this person was just giving away mugs. Mugs. A cactus candle holder. And we have a wine bottle cork. Wine bottle opener. Oh, cool. So I guess on one, sorry, this is. So I guess on one side they have their faces and on the other side it has like little quotes. Oh, I guess these are shot glasses. Drink when, drink when. I would think, I think everything's a candle holder like this. It looks like a candle holder to me. is probably like soy sauce bowl for all I know. You have little um, drink cozies. And recently somebody moved out and a whole lot of stuff, they were just dumping it. And there was a huge pile in our parking garage that they were just getting rid of. They even threw out a computer, like a whole computer tower. And I didn't want to get it because I feel really weird when it comes to like, computer stuff what if i turn on that computer and i find things i don't want to find even though i could probably have flipped that computer for good money i decided to pass next thing that i have to share is this here hermes paper bag someone put it in our trash room and what's nice is it came with the box believe it or not when it comes to like luxury packaging 
especially if you have the box, you can resell this stuff on eBay. And someone had paid like $300 for a tie. What? I think I'll never understand what it means to have a lot of money because like $300 for a tie. That sounds crazy to me. What is your opinion of kind of getting things out of the trash room, getting things that people are throwing away and taking those things to flip, okay? On the one hand, it's not going into the landfill, it's getting recycled, so that's nice. What do you think about that? Like, is that like, in your eyes, you see that as like something gross per se, or something you would never do? There was a time when I was younger that I really threw my nose up at getting things from the thrift store because I had never been to a thrift store before at that time. And the perception that I had in my mind was that it was like for low end things, worn out things, things with stains. And then when I actually started going thrifting, it really is like a treasure hunt. Like you can find some really amazing luxury things, name brand things for so cheap. Someone had put like these really nice folded up shirts in a bag and just placed it in our trash room. So when they, whenever somebody does that, that person wants you to take it, right? If they really didn't want it and they just wanted to get rid of it, they would have just thrown it out. I picked up this clothing bag and when I looked through the clothes, it was mostly t-shirts and they felt really nice. But as far as the design, it looked pretty plain to me and like it didn't look like anything special. But then when I started to research the brand, I realized that it was like a luxury brand. So when it comes to bringing in additional income for your family, I think you got to do whatever it takes. When I think about like who buys this stuff off eBay, who's going to buy luxury bags off eBay? Most of the time, I kind of make the assumption like it's for people who want to flex but don't actually buy luxury items. Is that a weird thing to say? I am so convinced that since we live in a social media culture that people will purchase luxury packaging just to kind of flex. Like when someone visits, they'll leave the packaging out or if they're an influencer, they buy a lot of luxury packaging so they can like display it in their video. Maybe those are assumptions making in my mind, but I don't know. Let me know your theory down below in the comments. So that's pretty much my video for today. Nothing really exciting happened. I just ran a lot of errands. But I'll talk about my side hustle and my micro hustles in a pre-recorded video. But yeah, just want to share that today just because I really didn't have anything today. I just ran a lot of errands, completely grumpy from the heat and running around. It was just a very busy, annoying, hot day.